we present a tool to visually design shots for quadrotor cameras. This shot was created and recorded using our tool. We designed this tool based on a set of design principles presented in our paper. Our tool provides a 3D preview of the camera shot and a 2D map showing the trajectory being authored. The user specifies a camera trajectory by editing a sequence of look at and look from keyframes. Each keyframe can be created visually or using the map by dragging around look from and look at positions. As the user adds keyframes, we synthesize a camera path between them and the user can immediately preview his camera motion along it. This shot currently moves the camera in a straight line. After setting some keyframes, we can control the camera progress to make the camera move faster or slower along the trajectory. We do this by editing the look at and look from easing curves. Here, the user adds two look from control points to pause the camera halfway while the look at point continues as usual. When she previews the shot, we see this behavior. Finally, we can also see whether our design trajectory lies within the quadrotor's physical limits. Here, we see that the user's shot requires the quadrotor to fly much faster than it is capable of. In this case, the user decides to lengthen the duration of her shot and modifies her easing curve. Notice her shot is now feasible. We now provide an overview of the underlying system that powers this tool. In our method, users specify camera pose keyframes in a virtual environment. These keyframes consist of look from positions and look at positions in 3D space. The camera pose keyframes are optimized into a path through space that our quadrotor camera can follow. This path smoothly interpolates the keyframes using an algorithm presented in our paper. Users also specify control points that define an easing curve. This specifies the camera's progress along the path, giving the user precise timing control independent of the geometry of the path. The camera path is reparameterized using the easing curve to generate a camera trajectory as a function of time. The trajectory is carefully designed to satisfy the equations of motion for the quadrotor camera, but might exceed the physical limits of our specific hardware. For example, it might require the quadrotor to fly faster than it actually can. To address this issue, we compute the control signals required for the quadrotor to follow this trajectory. This is displayed to the user in real time on a set of feasibility plots. She can iterate on her shot until she satisfies both her artistic intent and the abilities of her hardware. Once the user is pleased with the result, we fly the trajectory autonomously, pointing the camera and capturing video. To evaluate our tool, we recruited two expert quadrotor cinematographers and two novices. Here is a shot created by our second expert. On top we see the preview of the shot, and below is the video automatically captured by our system. After flying backwards to reveal a building, the quadrotor moves in an arc around it, but the camera looks at a fixed point. This shot is challenging since it requires continuously reorienting the camera during flight. Our first novice user created this shot. Initially, he circled around the tower changing altitude before heading towards it. He then started tilting the camera down such that the camera reaches straight down exactly when he arrives above the tower. Such a shot is challenging since it requires anticipating the camera reorientation necessary to end at this keyframe. Our second novice chose to start by arcing away from a clock tower. Further on in the shot, he continues the arc and reorients the camera to reveal the surroundings. Our system also enables the user to scale the timing of the trajectory in real time during capture. Using the highlighted slider, the user scales the timing of the shot up and down to match the pace of a human subject. Notice the user is speeding up the shot towards the end, keeping the person in view. 
Finally, we show a shot that we designed. This shot rises to reveal a building from above. arcs around a point while changing altitude. And finally dives down to reveal the inside. Our tool makes it possible for novices with no quadrotor experience to produce challenging shots and for experts to produce shots at the physical limits of their quadrotors' capabilities.